Hey everybody, it's United Gamer here. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Slide 2 Band of Thieves. In the last part, we did everything up to this point in episode 5. In this part, we're going to do Operation High Ground. I hope that general guy told the truth, or this is going to get ugly. Oh yeah! The lights are down, Bentley. Time to call in the cavalry. I'll see if I can find some extra firepower to help out. Attention, bloodthirsty mercenary forces! The castle defenses are down! Seize this opportunity for aggressive military action by pressing an attack on the castle! Charge! For victory! For glory! That should do it! Now that you're done being a warmonger, feel like paragliding over to that blimp? Just make sure to grab the rope hanging off that thing! I don't want to drown! Holy crap, I'm sorry. Come on, we can still make it. <laughs> oh, I almost jumped off, too. <laughs> there we go, we made it all the way here on accident. But here we are. Hold on, pal. Let's get what are you gonna do? You got sly against you. You ain't gonna do nothing. Just pop them off. Alright, let's head for the re-education tower. <laughs> What? The mercenaries have breached the castle defenses? All of you go! Defend this tower to the last man! Don't worry, my dear. I still have time to finish with your readjustment. Let me out of here and I'll readjust your face. Okay, partner. Looks like the Shadow Guard is out of the picture. You ready to free our violent little princess? Affirmative! That Iron Tech 250 is a fully integrated system. Access to Carmelita's restraints has to be in this old terminal somewhere. Alright, so now we gotta go into the hacking of everything again, like we always have to. Except this time it's much more difficult because we have a lot of these things that can actually shoot us now. And our health bar is just the same as always. Um, crap, I'm taking damage, I'm taking damage! <laughs> Alright, we're good to go though. Crap! Alright, don't do what I just did. Um, basically what I normally do though is just knock as many as I can out. And then run away, make, basically make a loop, and those things will chase you. And you don't even technically have to destroy them. Um, it can make it easier if you want. I mean, so I recommend destroying them. But try your best not to be hit by, like, run into those things like I'm doing. It gives you more access or more availability to be hit by those things actually shooting at you. Which can be the most pain. It's good also to knock both of them out at the same time so they don't so they respawn together. The good thing about this though, it seems like the dots um, disable faster or whatever. So there we go. That should do it. Aha. I've isolated the brain pattern. You and I are about to become the best of friends. Okay, new best friend. Hands up! And I mean all of them! My dear, you really should- <gasps> Shadow Guard! Shadow Guard! Come back here, you witch! That Carmelita. Always trying to resolve her problems with the shock pistol. She is rather truculent. Stand clear, Sly. This might have a larger blast than anticipated. Bentley, you okay? This is no place for an asthmatic. But I've located one of the clockwork eyes. Can you find the other? No worries, Taps. It's safely in hand. Neela? Thanks for clearing out the Contessa. Nothing I did could pry her away from the clockwork eyes. 
Hmm, wouldn't it be enough for the old bird? Ta-ta! Bentley, take the eye and escape on the blimp. I'm going after Neela. But the plan! It... This wasn't in the plan! If whatever her name, Carmelita wasn't such a freaking idiot, um, she would have captured her actually, not just waited. That was retarded. I hate chasing Neela too, but at least this gets Neela out of the picture after episodes five. Spoilers. <laughs> um, you suck. You know that. Why can't I hit you? Where's Murray? Where's Murray in all this? Can he not help me out? <laughs> I mean, come on. See, I just hit you! I just hit you! What the heck? Sly game logic. So I'm in front of her, and she still runs her path. I think this, that's, that is hilarious. <laughs> I should have... Nope, nope. I'm behind. No! No, she did it. She's right in front of me! Well, isn't that a piece of crap? She was right in front of me. I was in front of her for the first time. Not for the first time, but for a long time. Crap, that's terrible. Come on, Sly. You can still make it. She's terribly in front of you, but... As long as you don't make her... Let... What the heck, Sly? She's gonna get away. No. I still see her. I still see her. Why can't I like go cut her off? Cause I already know where she's going. But look at this, whack! In front of you again, aren't I, Neela? <laughs> I just I just like that how I'm in front of her. All right, lay your spider web down. Wait till you get the top of your jump, so you get the advantage. Where are you going? I'm going for the clue bottle. I'm just right behind. Dang it, why does it hurt her? <laughs> oh gosh, I hate chasing her. Uh, oh, you tried to freak, uh, trick me out, didn't you? You're going this way, aren't you? Oh no, you're not. I'm doing pretty good though. I mean, I'm right behind her. I already know you're gonna blow up those things. It's already expected. You really should watch where you're going. This place is dangerous. Don't you dare! That eye is mine! It's mine! <sighs> Actually, Mr. Cooper, the eye belongs to me. Up, Bentley. You're about to come under fire. Get to the blimp's turn and stay sharp. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Oh wow. Okay, so this is obviously back when um we're over there with Sly chasing Neela, which is kind of cool how they did this, um, where you have to go and uh play back in time, I guess you could say. You know one thing, um, I like how they kind of do this. Um, each Sly episode is like another game. You get what I'm saying? Like, there's a finale for each of them. <laughs> I just think that's pretty cool. But that might be me, too. Where are you guys? Man, this actually isn't that hard. See, this is the kind of mini games I like. I mean, I kind of... I don't mind chasing Neela. But, you know, guns, firing, shooting, shooting down airplanes. Yeah, that's where it's at. Um, and it's pretty easy, too. Can I shoot, like... Maybe? No. Okay. <laughs> and it's pretty easy too, which is maybe another reason why I enjoy it. <laughs> Just because it's easy. What are you gonna do? I've already said that a million times, but who are you gonna call? Bentley! Uh, I hope they do, um, I hope Sanzaro, 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 whatever you say, however you say it. Uh, keeps the fact of these mini game types inside these in time. But there we go. We knocked them all out. The sky's all clear. 
Okay, guys, I'm heading out for our rendezvous. Come back here, Contessa. That getaway blimp won't save you! Merciful Hades! Sly, can you read me? Carboli to shot out the guidance system, and the blimp's descending at a decidedly unsafe rate! I'm going down! Down! That I belongs to me, and I want it back. No way. You think I'm crazy? Actually, on second thought, don't answer that. I really don't want your professional opinion. Not crazy, just stupid. You're an ignorant child playing dress-up in his father's legacy. Oh, I know all about you and the Cooper clan. Then you'll understand why this eye needs to be destroyed. Short-sighted fool! I have no interest in your narrow interpretation of morality. I'm above all that. Above good and evil. And you think I'd give the eye to someone that's above morality? Enough talk, insect. It will be just as easy and more fun to pry it from your cold, dead hand. You know, I've never liked spiders, so this is gonna be fun for me, except for the fact that I'm already injured. <laughs> Uh, Carmelita is not that difficult of a boss fight, though. Um, at least, okay. But there is one fact. Uh, as you see, she can she can do a lot of damage on you. I'm probably gonna die right here. I'm not too worried about that because I already expected me to die with the fact how badly damaged I was. But you can see also I do a lot of damage on her actually. Ah, eh, shut up! I get to go against you again. I have infinite tries. What now, Contessa? What now? Alright, so this is what I'm talking about. You know, we got the full life bar now. And if you notice, you don't even hurt her until... Oh yeah, that's a big fact, dude. Don't let her fault jump on you. That is a terrible mistake. She does damage. And I'm playing very pathetically right now. See, don't let her jump on you. Let her swipe, and then go for your hits. Um, even if you don't get the full swipe in once, don't worry about it. Just do your best to stay away from her. Because she does so much damage to you, which is not good. And then she has her little egglings just come after you. There we go. Whenever you knock her down, though, just go for them. The good thing about the little egg things is they can actually poop out health bars. You can actually do what you do with many other bosses. Just run around them, and they can't end up hitting you. But there you go. I mean, that's really easy. I'm pretty sure there's a second phase, though. Enough. You've shown me the error of my ways. I feel sorry for you. All your education and you still don't know right from wrong. Huh? Oof! I know enough not to let my guard down around an intellectually superior opponent. She got the eye? She's got the eye! How's this thing work? What's this do? And this? Guys, help! Carmelita took the eye, and she's trying to get away in one of the Contessa's tanks! Don't worry about it, little buddy. I won't let her get away. Alright, so we're here in the tank, hopefully to destroy Carmelita and get the clockwork eye back, and hopefully I can do good at this because I'm terrible at driving the tank, as a lot of you probably already know and have seen. Um, I'm not the best at driving these things. Look at that, that's just terrible. Do your best to avoid uh, the, the little barrels going everywhere. That's what you really want to focus on not doing, because if you blow up your tank, it's all over. And this isn't endless, she can escape, so be aware of that. Um, I'm gonna cut her off. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah! I'm pretty sure you don't destroy her, you just knock off the eye. Because it's on the back of the tank. Can I not have, like, auto-detection bullets? There we go. I'll grab the eye while Carmelita's still stuck in her tank. Then come around to pick up Bentley for a quick exit. Do what you can, Sly. We'll all hook up at the rendezvous for extraction.
There's nowhere left to run. We both know I can beat you in a fight. So why don't you just hand over the eye? You're right, Cooper. In a battle of strength, you've proven yourself. But with this clockwork eye, I can battle in your mind. Alright, so it's pretty much the same type of fight. Except she's got the clockwork eye now. And you just want to stay away from whenever she does stuff like that because, yeah, it's not going to be really good for you. Let her go ahead and hatch her eggs when what are you going to do? These little spiders. Those spiders remind me of something. I can't think of exactly what, but, you know, they just remind me of something. See, I was right. There is a stage two. I, could, I remember it correctly sometimes. If you stay right under her, she normally cannot hurt you, with, especially I mean, with the clockwork eye, that is. Except whenever she's doing that, or whenever she's jumping up in the air, because, like, you know, normal, she can still land on you and do a ton of damage. But as I said before, not really that hard of a boss fight. You've got a strong mind, Cooper. I never would have guessed. Clockwork eye again! Things hadn't gone exactly to plan, but the Contessa was beaten and the clockwork eyes were finally mine. The Contessa was arrested and brought to trial for the crime she committed while working for Interpol. Their PR damage control went one step further by promoting Neela, the hero of Prague, to the rank of captain. Carmelita, still on the outs with Interpol, had to run with the rest of us. To my surprise and eternal delight, I got to help my favorite policewoman escape from the cops. I tried to put it all out of my mind. This claw business was spiraling out of control and I knew that my gang was at the center of it. We'd be back in action soon enough, but for now, well, we just laid low for a while. Alright, so next part we're gonna go to Canada! Yes! The place of the brave. I don't know. We're gonna go to Canada. <laughs> I don't know. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed another episode of Sly 2 Band of Thieves. As I said, in the next part we're gonna go on to episode 6, so stay tuned, and I'll see you guys later.